Exactly. So, and we have a 10k or spirit player here too. With friends slash rivals. Yeah, in that regard, I think so that too. they're always competing against. I think each it's other. a nice competitive uh, sort of rivalry. Yeah. As our tour might get tossed back. Actually, just a straight combo. toss up in the air with the combo, trying to do as much magic damage as possible to RTZ. Is it going to be enough? That ring of Tarask is just enough to keep RTZ alive. Both the regen and oh. the base health, and it's going to be SVG who dies instead. Crit shows up just in time to claim that healthy bounty. Man, that TB, he is so tanky. And look at this. They're just going to spam... So you're trading hits, but you're not taking as oh. much damage because of the armor, and then the regen Rolling comes mid. into play. That silence. Here's the coil, the, the kickback, not enough to uh, be able to break the link. The oh, there we go. Okay, a second pushback comes from Fly with that blinding light. They've got ways to be able to do this. Lots and lots of ways, both from their supports and... My favorite thing, you know, if at first you don't succeed, <laughs> that's going to happen. That is definitely... That conversation is going to go almost exactly that way. Yeah. Sometime in the next... I can guarantee Six you guys, oh, hold that thought as we are rolling. It's going to be able to land. SVG is going to be kicked back into the Cotta Blast. Roya gets a little bit more damage over the top. Jumps away just before the Aether Ren that can tag him. And still, SVG will fall. Traded out for Fly, though. I was really hoping this would be that. But. That, that was basically the end of, uh, of like his playing. Yeah. And now the pushback. He's had a revitalization here. And he's going to be able to show that by being able to kill MSS once again. This time with some helping hands as Roya comes over and ganks for him. Uh, but it has been kind of fun to see. I, I could see it'd be funny if he was, you know, repeat mag performance, but yeah. I also think it's kind of fun to see him. A really nice rotation towards mid. And okay. Bulba's trying not to There's show that he can get his Doom of creeps. off. He's trying to get up the Doom off the Avalanche, though. Stun, 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 stun. Just constantly preventing him from casting. Now it's too late. They're going to still try and kill SVG, oh, but like Bulba this. has wandered a little bit too far. Now it's going to be the turnaround. SVG does end up getting caught in that Illuminate that came out from Fly. But a trade of one for two. Two cores, especially from EG. A big win for Quincy Crew. Get the DD rune. And that was your uh, highest net worth hero as well. Once again, trying to execute the combination. The Will the blinding light be able to uh, break it? Oh, the, the Havilland stun. stun. It is so annoying. The Doom actually going off onto uh, CC and CNE is going to be dying here. They try and go for the deny. He actually stood next to Biver, pleading with him to deny me already. But he couldn't get off the attack. And SVG is going to be the last remnants of that team fight. Evil geniuses strike back just as hard and twice as swift in the mid lane after a lost team fight. They Come right back, three for nothing. This going, we're gonna go another round. That is the one thing about a lot of teams. I think they anticipate some like relief time. Yeah. Nice oh. kick. This time it'll be able to break the coil. That is so much damage too. You follow it up with the silence, and it's ton of disable for poor old the Void Spirit Quinn. Uh, and I was just like, yeah, I'm not. Something is not. I'm not doing this right. <laughs> I remember I had that same feeling with like mid one and. I believe he played, I can't remember, it was some sort of melee against Monkey King, but getting him to that point in the first place was like a miserable experience. Same with like Spectre. I thought Brian actually had a really, really good explanation on that, and I don't want to take away any credit from that at all. Pushed away, Biver, he's zooming! Run around like a maniac thanks to that surge from Darks here, another point that Brian brought up. That having a, no longer being a percentage-based change, but now flat, means a world of difference for a lot of the early game. When a lot of these heroes are naturally just slower, percentage didn't do as much for them, but now needs a lot. As you can see, Biber is going to make his introduction into the team fight, but it got silence. Great play by Crit. Reading that before the toss could go off, but Bulba's still going to be pulled back in. They do manage to get off that Coddle Ultimate, though. The will of oh, is going to be able to control two, and the coil onto three. That is going to be all three of them easily falling as Quinn and Yuar will back off, seeing that the fight is already over. Evil Geniuses defend their mid-tower once again. The hidden MVP so far in this game. Like, Flies yeah. had a very nice game so far. A couple of sick blinding lights to pop some coils. They do manage to get the Aegis there. Immediately, the mid tower is already gone, so they got a different objective out of it. Now will they win the fight afterwards? Well, it looks like SVG, as standard, he's already lost his life in the team fight. But can everyone else get out? It looks like not oh, going to be the case the for MSS. And now Quinn's going to be caught as well. There is going to be a chase from the Earth Spirit. He does manage to get another round of the coil to toss over. Roya on top of him does manage to get the kill. Biver may have just tossed him to his death. As Quinn, I'm not sure if he, uh, I think he might have survived. 
if he didn't get to... Yeah, uh, the Earth Spirit ultimate was ticking on him, sure, but probably think to yourself, okay, we lost that last team fight, but now there's some ultimates on cooldown. Run it back. Run it back. Try it again. And despite that, despite the cooldowns that have been used in the previous fight, there's always just another one available. That said, one-to-one -one carries. It is fun to play Phantom Lancer against Terrorblade now. Yeah. Right? Because Double Ganger reflection dispels reflection, where that used to be one of the counters to you. Yeah, because uh, everyone's PC would lag out, and if you had like a ten thousand dollar <laughs> PC, like you would inevitably just win. Yeah. And EG's got that dosh, you know they do. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a smart strategy. <laughs> nope, they're gonna run into Quinn Smoke here, who's breaks. gonna jump away. He's gonna be fine. Is they all need else? to get out no, though. No, SVG, SVG is certainly gonna be caught, right? He always is. Crit's gonna stay on top of him. The rest of Chaos sticking around. They do have an Aether Ram. That grabbed the puck. Maybe they can kill him. Oh, no, they're no, going to they get don't get any to sail. Now the coil uh, on top of all of them with the will of bomb. They can't go anywhere. And Terrorblade, he's just going to lay into him. Oh, yikes. What a disaster. Fiverr? Okay, oh, he's good. Fiverr's gone. That's a TP away. You are? Yawar might actually be okay, Doppelganger, too. Doppelganger. Fake it. Nice. He faked out the Yules, but they, they oh, immediately knew afterwards. That's not the real one that they caught. I actually think it's harder to be a good Phantom Lancer player against pros. Uh, yeah, I mean, this Puck Earth Spirit Coddle combo has just been so successful for them. It's really slowed down Quinn's game, who he's trying, but the supports are so farmed at this point. Yeah. Not really sure what your maneuver is anymore. This is the part where playing Void Spirit feels really bad. Yeah, because you don't DPS don't, anybody. Yet. Yeah, why I don't like it as four is that your your hero concept I think is. Is primarily on being ahead of the enemy and always having a kill combination. Once that Yule's Ether Remnant into, you know, whatever else you have no longer kills somebody, then you feel very lackluster as a hero. As I'm sure SVG has felt all game long because he has just been food. Yeah. The first, like, five coils of the game went on Quinn. They just kept smoke kinking him and yeah. then they kept dooming him and they were like, yeah, we're going to make sure your game is ruined. Uh, they've done a good job of that, and Arteezy is going to pop the Metamorphosis, go high ground. Darkseer Wall is going to get popped. He's going to reposition himself, and the rest of his team is just going to wait behind. Now, they did get a Terror Blade reflection or uh, image here yeah. off the wall of Replica. That is going to be really important in a team oh, fight. That is going to be doing a lot of damage, especially if they can keep Arteezy kited here. The Illusion does a little bit of damage here. It was a nice toss back, but again, no follow-up disables after the Aether Rim. Then now they're going to be will -O -Wiz catching oh, three boy. with the Silence on it. Two as well. A Cotta Blast right through the middle of it, and the supporting crew of MSS and SVG have to watch in despair as Yuar tries to fight through all of these heroes. Now he does manage to do so, but Arteezy's found the real one. Yuar sidesteps that roll-in from Crit. Crit actually goes into the fountain, but Surely it doesn't this is, stop this Arteezy from getting a triple kill. Now the Ultra MSS. Are you going to give it to him? Are you going to be nice? No, will don't not. do it. But man, they got rolled on. They have been getting worked yeah, they're just almost gonna call the it. entire game. Yeah. Blitz. It's four melee heroes against Coddle plus Puck. It yeah. was not going to be a fun game. When it came to the team fights, uh, I mean, all the props in the world to EG. I felt like they executed that very well, but...